hello everyone in this video we will try to see how to implement authorization now let me log in first so I'm logging in with Manzoor and Manzoor is an admin so we have all the links and you can see one more link welcome mr. or miss whatever it may be mr. Manzoor so you can change the text depending upon the gender as well now uh, you can see this I, I got this with a single line of code I have added a link which is pointing to nothing and I'm using user dot identity dot name to get the logged in username now I have two users one is Manzoor another is Jack Manzoor is admin so Manzoor should have access to create department and create employee and Weaver is Jack or Jack is Weaver Jack should have access to view department and view employee so how do I give authorization that is very simple if I want to give authorization to view department I'll go to this department and this is your view department I have already authorized so here I'll write roles is equals to I can give as V which means only a user with role V should be able to access this now let me execute this I'll say login so this is an admin now if I admin says view department you can see that it has sent to login page why because admin does not have access to this now I'll say log out I will log in with Weaver that is Jack now if Jack says view department it should display that but it is still logging them out or it is still redirecting them to the login page because we have not implemented this functionality so this is the default feature of your membership classes and roles classes that are available with your ASP.NET web.security so how do I implement that functionality to implement that functionality I need to implement a custom provider that is nothing but role provider so I'll just right click and say add class I'll name this class as my role provider and I'll say add and I'm going to implement an abstract class that is nothing but role provider which is available in system.web.security and I'm going to implement this abstract class in this you should see a method that is get roles for a user so I'll put a breakpoint as we have applied authorize and role for view department so whenever my control reaches this point it should take me to this method so let us see whether it is taking me to this method or not if it is not taking me to that method then what is that I should do that it should take me to that method so let us check first if I'm logging in with Manzoor, Manzoor 1 at the rate 3 and I'll say view department so it is not taking me to that method why because this is my custom provider I have to configure this custom provider in web.config file so how do I configure I can configure oh, sorry this is the file I need to add role manager and in this I need to add providers and in this I need to first of all clear the old providers that it is taking then I need to add a new provider and name that as my provider 
and type equals to what is the type that we have created the class that is nothing but auth example dot my role provider so this is the web dot config file and I'll say auth example dot my role provider and this provider should be the default provider so on the role manager first of all I should enable roles then next I need to give default provider that is this save all so this is the configuration settings that we need to perform now it should take me to that breakpoint whenever I say view department you can see that it is taking me to my custom provider and it is carrying username now here I can pass this username and find out the roles and I can return array of roles if it is single I can return a single item in that array so I have the code ready now you can see that organization DB entities I'm creating object of this and I'm just trying to find that particular username and that record and the role and I'm making an array of that role and I'm returning that role now things should work as expected I'll first of all log out now I'll log in log in with Manzur Manzur is admin so Manzur should not have access to that view department I have logged out I need it is redirecting me to the login page I will log out I will log in again now this time I will log in with Jack now Jack is viewer now if I click on view department yes now I can access this if I want to give access to both Jack as well as Mansoor that means viewer as well as admin so I need to simply go to department controller I need to say V comma A so viewer as well as admin can have access to this so log out login with admin Now admin should be able to access this. I will log out now. Log in with Weaver. That is Jack. Now Jack should be able to access this. So both of them can access this. Now in the same way, I can apply V and A to VE and an admin to create department and create employee. That is again simple. I'll simply copy this. So create department only admin can access it now I'll go for employees view employee admin and viewer can access it and create employee only admin can access it now I'll login with admin admin should be able to access everything now home fine view department should be fine view employee should be fine create department should be fine create employee should be fine I'll log out now I'll log in with viewer that is nothing but Jack now Jack should be able to access view department should be able to access view employee but Jack should not be able to access these two things that is create department and create employee you can see that it is redirecting to login page now log out now uh, like if it is a jack let us not display these two links 
why because jack does not have access to this so i can hide or show links depending upon the roles as well so how do i do that i should go to this layout page and here these two th links i should apply a condition that is if user dot is in role of admin then only we should show these two links save this and I'll execute it now let us see whether it works as expected now I'll say login I will log in with Manzoor now it should display both the links which is it is displaying I will log out now I'll log in with Jack now it is displaying only two links so that's it this is working as expected and exact so this is all about your authentication and authorization in ASP.NET MVC. Thank you very much.